Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It is February 22nd, perhaps. I'm out here. Six miles, easy run. It's one of those days. What I would consider a garbage run. Garbage. Terrible run. You know, just, just weird weather. It's not sunny. It's gloomy. It's cold. Winter storm is on the way. I just feel tired and gross. Not every run is a joyful celebration of the beauty of running. Sometimes it's just terrible. And that's kind of today. So it's important to just battle through these runs, put it in the books, and move on. Sometimes it's hard to run slow when you don't feel good because I just want the run to end. I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but I do. So, I don't know. Good morning, happy Friday. Another week coming to a close. Woo, it's cold today. The weather lately has been out of control. So we had what local media described as a historic winter ice storm. About 750,000 people lost power. There was ice everywhere. Roads were terrible. There's tree branches down all over the place. So that was Wednesday night. It was bad Thursday morning. And then by the afternoon, it was 50 degrees and all the ice melted. And it was like nothing had ever happened. And now today, it was 20 degrees when I started my run. So it's just like ice, warm, freezing. I, February, man. This is what it's all about in Michigan. <laughs> so hopefully power will be restored soon because it's cold out. Now it is a sunny day, which is nice. So let's take a moment and enjoy another sunrise session. All right, today running six miles, not an easy run. It's a try to run fast so you warm up quicker run. Today I'm running in the Invincible 2s, breaking them out again, and you know what? I miss these shoes. I've been running in the 3s, I made the video, didn't love them, didn't hate them, but it is very clear the 2s are better. I think that's a video idea, running 4 miles in the 2s, switching the shoes out, and then running the last 4 in the 3s to get a real direct comparison. I've made that video before with the original Invincibles, and people seem to like it, so try it out. So I haven't forgotten that I wanted to talk about coffee on this YouTube channel. It is the Fresh Brew Run Club. So in a vlog I made a while back, I talked about how I wanted to go through all of the Nespresso pods. Um, the problem was I had ordered a bunch of uh, Intenso pods, so it was going to take me a while to get through those. I finally got through those, and then I ordered a bunch of different ones. So I'm going to try those. Initially, I was going to like rank them in order, but it's just been so long, and it'll take it'll take me too long between pods to remember what I thought about the previous one in order to do a ranking. So instead, I'm just going to give a letter grade of the coffees. Now, disclaimer: I am not a coffee expert by any means, so this is why I'm going to be very generic. If if something is bad, it's bad. If something is good. It's good. Again, I am not a coffee sommelier. So today I have a new pod. It is the Stormio. It is the dark green pod. Um, so I've brewed a cup and I'll give it a try. I'm out of breath. Never test coffee when you're out of breath. That's good. It's definitely a little less intense than the Intenso. Um, makes sense. I would give this a B. It's maybe not as strong as I, I would prefer. I do like a stronger coffee, but the actual taste is good. I am going to do some research on how to actually taste coffee so I become better at this, but I just wanna give my, my reaction. Much like I am not an elite runner, I am also not an elite coffee taster. So I'm just giving you the perspective of the average coffee drinker. Stormio, B, which is like an eight out of 10. Let's not get into the numbers. We're just gonna do A, B, C, D, or F. This is a B. I will keep drinking this. I would have no problem getting it again, but I, I kind of do prefer maybe a little more of a, a little more of a bite 
on a beautiful Friday morning. So that is the review. I will update, and I will link this in the description below, I will update sort of my letter grades of all of the Nespresso pods. Like I said, I wanna work my way through every single one of them. So there's gonna be some ones I know I don't like. I'm very excited to try those. The problem is I'm gonna have to drink like 10 of them <laughs> because they come in a sleeve. Anyway, that's a problem for future me. So I will see you in, I don't know, maybe maybe next week I will be able, yeah, I should be able to get through all of the Stormios for next week's vlog and then I'll do a new one. So cheers. Hello, happy Saturday. Yes, Michigan has struck again. It snowed last night. On the weather, I saw that there was like some flurries or something coming. I didn't expect this. So my idea to do the test with the Invincible 2s and the Invincible 3s is not happening anymore because they are terrible in the snow. So I do not want to slip and break my elbow. So I have to pivot to just a regular run. So instead I have the Pegasus Trail 3s with the Yak Track spikes on them. This is absolutely perfect conditions for the Yak Tracks. It's like a half inch of powdery snow, prime conditions for these spikes. So I'm not complaining, it's kind of fun. Switch it up a little bit. It's definitely harder to run in a little bit of powdery snow. It's almost like, not quite like running on the beach, but I can definitely feel different feet muscles getting tired than normal, but I don't know. Just try to enjoy it. I'm not running very fast and my heart rate is pretty high, so it's definitely harder running in this. Some would say it's tough sledding. Yeah, they, they plow their sidewalks quick. So seeking alternate routes. Here's a weird one. So. The signals are working down there. There is a train coming, but the signals here are not going. So it might be stopped or going extremely slow. Ah, oh, here we go. Training montage. Oh, it's going so slow. This is going so slow. I think they actually have to slow down in downtown areas because it sped right up when it kind of got where I was, which is on the outskirts of downtown. All right, just want to take a second. That is a Yak Tracks track right there. I'm an expert running shoe tracker. There are many of us out here braving the elements, not caring that the snow plows are blasting snow into the sidewalks and making them impassable for pedestrians. You cannot stop us. You will not stop us. Yak Tracks. So running in the snow has me thinking. If NASA came to you and said, we want you to run one mile on the moon, would you do it? Would you go to the moon? Let's say the, the flight or the, I don't know what, shuttle, whatever it is to the moon, it leaves November 1st. Is that something you would do? Um, you don't need to do any kind of training. You don't need to like fly the ship. You're just on board, you get out, you run a mile, you get in, you go home. I would. I say that because I'm looking at my tracks, which are completely untouched. I think on the moon, like Neil Armstrong's footprints will be there for like 100,000 years or something. So I don't think my footprints will last that long, but the moon is on my mind. All right, I'm getting kind of sick of this run. The newness of running in snow has worn off and now my hips are just tired. So I'm gonna wrap it up, seven miles, easy run, but it felt hard, so. On to the next one, hopefully tomorrow. Tomorrow it'll probably be like 80 and sunny.